Plans to expand SunRail in Central Florida may be in jeopardy thanks to changes in the federal budget. SunRail officials thought they were in line for a multi million dollar boost. New at 5, West Hughes Jasmine Bailey found out that may not be the case. SunRail leaders say that ridership is on an upward swing, but that doesn't mean that plans to expand are in the clear. You just jump on the train, and within like 10 minutes, you're here. Riders here at the Winter Park Station say SunRail makes their commute easier and would gladly use expanded service. I'd love to go all the way to Daytona. The hurdle, federal funding. SunRail is now in talks with the Federal Transportation Administration about what money is heading their way after being cut out of the federal budget. We need to know what it is uh, that, that's changed and then what they need from us uh, to make this move forward. SunRail says it needs $34 million to expand the rail line from DeBerry to DeLand and $92.5 million to build south from Sand Lake Road to Point Siena. There were times where, you know, some folks thought phase one, SunRail was dead. But look at it today. It, it's, it's up and running. Olson says he's hopeful to get the federal cash. Right now in the budget, there's $320 million of funding up for grabs. SunRail's uh, right in there in the fight. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, what information our federal partners need from us to make that happen. First time rider Lee Moore said the expansion would lead her to planning more trips, even if she doesn't have a destination just yet. But I'd find something. While the number of daily riders has increased, some rail leaders are only expecting those numbers to get better with the Eye for Ultimate construction project soon to take place. In Orange County, Jasmine Bailey, West 2 News.